Okay, right, so welcome back to our next part of the ESC motor controller installation. We're going to sort out the wiring for our forward and reverse switch. I've already pre-done this myself, but we're just going to run over it very quickly. So as you can see, we have six pins on the bottom of our motor controller. Our, our, not our motor controller, apologies, on our speed selector. So forward, stop and backwards. So I'm just going to draw out what we're going to do very quickly. So let's just reposition this so we can see. So we're going to take it this way, forward, stop, back. Okay, so we're going to flip it, keep it that way so we can see. So we're going to draw out six pins on our piece of paper. So pin one, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, it's not very clear. Let me read. Yeah, that's a bit better. So we will take our, as you can see, we had four. So forward is it. So where we connect this up, we will connect this up like that. So these top pins go into the forward side of it. So it's up like that. Okay. So we're just going to flip that upside down for the moment. Actually, we're just going to put it there just so you can see. You can see the six pins. So we need to run a positive line from here to here. Okay, you're going to have to excuse my pens that I'm going to use. And a negative cross line from here to here. Okay, so the positive side from our motor controller is going to come in just here. So, all right, pink, positive, green, negative. So we can just follow it, okay? Apologies, let me turn that off. Right, so that's to our motor controller off at the top. So next we will have a green coming off for our negative that's going to go to our motor controller again. So these connect into the motor output of the motor controller, okay? So next, we're going to have, so for our motor input that we had earlier on, we're going to connect that to just here. Okay, the positive. And our negative coming out. So we'll just write. ESC, stroke, motor controller. and motors. Okay, now just connect them up. The worst case scenario is if you've got your positive and your negative round the wrong way, follow the D-pin video and just swap them around as they're coming into the input from the motor controller and you'll be fine. Okay, so as you can see, I've wired mine up already. So I had this nice little block from a different thing. You may have one on the back of your old speed shifter. So we can, we use our connector pin removal tool to slide them out and build up a new one. So as you can see, I match. So positive to positive, negative to negative. Here's our input one in the middle, just here. It's coming out and let's readjust that. There we go. Right now we can see a bit better. You can see the mess as well. So we can see our, our motor controller connections are in the middle on their own. And at the bottom, we have our motor output on its own as well. Next, we're going to go plug those into the car. So let's go very quickly. Sit you up here as you can see. Back in. Now, I have just broke some switches, being a bit rough handed with this. That is rather frustrating. So I'm going to have to follow my connector pin remover and fix this connector that I just broke. Back in a minute. So, right, welcome back. Unlike me, be a bit gentle with your connectors when pushing them in. Don't just force them in as I do because you break them and create yourself more work. So now let's put our car in stop position. We've turned it on, we'll press the on and off pedal. We go forward, we go forwards. 
Backwards. Backwards. That's it done. So now, we have forward and reverse, and you could almost stop at this point, but we're going to carry on because we want to do a 24 volt to 12 volt converter on this one so we get the original accessories. Okay, bye.